For software version V1910, we've added support for USB audio interfaces, external audio interfaces, with a range of our MagicU consoles. These are now supported on the MQ500 and 500M, the MQ50, MQ70, and MQ80 compact consoles. For all of the consoles except the MQ80, all you need to do is update to software version V1910 or higher, and you'll have support for various different audio interfaces now of your consoles. If you've got an MQ80 console, you do need to do a separate kernel update as well as a software update. And as you can see here, you can find this kernel update file on the CAMSYS website, and you install the kernel file in exactly the same way you do as a software update. You just need to shut down and restart the console after you've done the kernel update. Then you can update to a version V1910 or higher and use external audio interfaces with your MQ80 console. These can be configured in a number of different ways, and we support a whole range of different interfaces. I've got interfaces like the Focusrite Scarlett Solo, M Audios, Audion interfaces, and we've tested and documented a range of audio interfaces which you can find in the CAMSYS user manual. To set up your audio interface, you first go to Setup, View System, View Status and Interfaces, and you can see here under Audio Input or Output Device, you can see the current device uh, that your console is using. Now, consoles like my MQ70 here, do have audio input and output jacks on the back of them. You might want to use an external audio interface if you want a balanced uh, stereo output direct from an audio interface. So you can use either audio interface either or with your console now. So we can go to view settings, ports, and configure which interface we're going to use. You can see here you've got some new options under the ports tab for audio input and audio output. I'm going to select for audio output and look at the options. You can use internal sound card, which is using the ports on your console if it has audio input and output support already, or external USB sound card if you're on a console and wanting to use a USB card. Once you've selected that, you go to audio output device, and you can now pick your device. Obviously, you could have different audio interfaces connected. You can see here I've got a Scarlett Solo interface, which I'm going to select. And the same for audio input, I might want to take that from my card as well. So I'm going to select external audio card, and now go and select the interface, my Scarlett Solo. I go back to view system, view status, and you can see it's now using uh, both the same interface for audio in and audio out. I can then go to a cue stack, like so, go to the audio tab, select an audio file like I've already done, and when I hit go, it's now playing that audio file out via my audio interface. You can also do a loop back now as well. So if we go to view system, uh, sorry, view settings, ports, and we go and look at our audio input and output devices, you've got the option of looping back now, so you can do or your audio input is looped back from your audio output device. This is very useful if you've got, say, an audio file you're playing on the console, and you're using that across our audio timeline, you're sending out the audio interface, but maybe you want to bring that audio back into the console and use that for things like BPM setting uh, of a chase or something else or an effect running on your console. So that's audio input support added for MagicU consoles in V1910 onwards.